Welcome back to Total F1. Through this video, we're going to discuss the Formula 1 tyres in detail. This is a crucial factor which affects the performance, as they are the only parts of the challengers that come into contact with the track. So there are separate rules and regulations associated with tyre usage to ensure fair play between teams. But before we proceed, hit the subscribe button and smash the bell icon for more exciting updates. Currently, we can see only one tyre manufacturer inside the sport, but once upon a time, there were multiple tyre suppliers creating an intense tyre war between the leading brands of the tyre industry. However, at present, the Italian tyre brand Pirelli is working as the sole tyre supplier of the sport since 2011, according to the agreement that is running till the end of the 2024 season. During that time frame, Pirelli has done a great job to improve the performances of the challengers, in terms of the usage of the tyres, as well as to improve the viewing experience of the race fans as well. Pirelli is the first tyre supplier that has introduced a colour coding system to indicate the tyre compound. This can be considered a really good move, as fans can easily get the idea about the different types of tyre strategies used by each team with the colour bands indicated in the side walls of the tyres. Depending on the dry or wet nature of the track, there are different types of tyre varieties that can be used to get the optimum performance. In order to use in dry track conditions, there are six varieties of slick tyres available. However, only three of them are available per weekend. They are labelled from C0 to C5 in a way that indicates the increasing softness of the tyres. C0 is the newest addition to the slick tyre combination from the 2023 season. The soft or hard nature of the tyre is decided based on the recipe of the compound that makes up the tyre surface. Tyre manufacturers adjust the factors in the production process to bring the balance between durability and speed. Normally, Formula 1 tyres are manufactured using a combination of natural and synthetic rubber and artificial fibres. This tyre is composed of a bead wire, a carcass, a belt and an outer thread. All the tyres are filled with nitrogen gas to keep them stable despite of temperature changes during the race. The softest tyre compounds are indicated by the red stripes on the sidewall of the tyre, and these tyre varieties have a capability to provide the fastest performance in a race, but they have the highest level of wear too. Tyres coming with yellow stripes on their sidewalls are the ones that have been made up of medium compounds. This can be considered as the most flexible tyre options in a race due to its long lifespan offering a considerable pace advantage as well. White striped tyres are hard compound tyres, which offer a longer lifespan than any other tyre variety. However, they are considered slow in terms of pace. These are not good for use in short stints, as they can create a considerable pace disadvantage relative to the rest of the field running on other compounds. However, for long runs, this is the best choice. It's impossible to use those slick tyres under slippery track conditions, and there are two separate tyre varieties with grooves to use in rainy conditions. The green walled intermediate tyres are one such variety that can be used under slight rainy conditions, but under heavy raining conditions it also loses the grip, demanding the use of the blue walled full wet tyres. These have deeper threads necessary to withstand against the heavy rainfalls. On a standard race weekend, each team is given 13 sets of dry tyres, 4 sets of intermediates and 3 sets of full wet tyres. Out of these 13 dry tyres, 2 are hards, 3 are mediums and 8 are softs. But an extra set of soft tyres is offered to each car that is selected to the Q3 of the qualifying. In any case of wet weather during qualifying, teams get an extra set of inters. However, it should be handed back to the FIA within three and a half hours after qualifying ends. When considering about the selection of tyre compounds, it is mandatory to use at least two types of tyre compounds in one race. This means drivers have to do a mandatory pit stop in the race to switch between tyre varieties. However, this rule is flexible with the intervention of rain to the race when it's essential to use wet or intermediate tyres. Under the existing rules for the wet weather conditions, it is possible for drivers to continue the race on one set of tyres till the end. However, these types of events rarely happen, and Esteban Ocon became the last one to do so in the last 26 years at the end of the 2021 Turkish Grand Prix. Until the 2022 season, 13-inch wheels were in use. But with the mega regulation updates introduced ahead of that season, regulations were changed to use low-profile 18-inch wheel varieties. With these changes, the FIA made tyres in a way that they are more responsive to the change of the directions. 
two weeks before a race. The FIA officially informs all the teams which type of slick tyre varieties are used for the race. Before each race, the tyre supplier hands over all the sets of the tyres to the FIA technical delegates to ensure the transparency of the tyre supply process. Throughout the race weekend, the FIA technical delegates closely monitor the tyre usage through a digital tagging system. Out of these 13 dry sets, teams must nominate a set to use within the first 40 minutes of FP1. Each team should hand over that nominated set and one more tyre set to the technical delegates within two hours of the end of FP1. Even though no further nominations take place in the next two practice sessions, each team should return two sets of tyres within two hours of the end of each practice session. But rules are changed under the presence of wet weather conditions. The tyre usage is a more complex component of Formula 1 racing. However, the FIA technical delegates closely examine everything to create fair play. If any team is found to breach any of the rules, it may be subjected to severe punishments. So teams are especially careful about tyre usage during a race, as it is a key factor that affects the outcome of the race weekend. What do you think about the FIA's decision to depend on a single tyre supplier? Share your thoughts in the comment section below. Thank you for watching the video. If you enjoyed the video, subscribe to the channel to get more exciting Formula 1 news. See you in the next video, guys. Goodbye.